Good day, everyone. So today we have the opportunity to visit a roofing servicing company to take a look at their various products and services that they have on offer. Now, in the past, we have quite a number of people who've asked us uh, to share information on roofing services or roofing companies available. Now, uh, we've been using this company for most of our roofing sheets, and we thought it's a good opportunity to engage them and share their sort of products and services that they have on offer. So this morning we have the privilege of meeting up with Justice, who's going to talk to us about the various products that their company have on offer. So Justice, uh, we've been using your services for some time now. Yeah. So we want uh, our audience and we want the people out there to know about the various products that you have. So uh, can you tell us first of all, how many years has your company been in operation? Haridak has been in operation for the past 11 years. For 11 years now you've been yes. in operation. Yes. And what are the various type of roofing materials that you have on offer? Alright, uh, for the material we have pure aluminium 100% right. and we have halogen. Right. And we have an enhanced form of the halogen called Calabon from Blue Scope in Australia. Wonderful. Basically those are the compositions we have. And we have the different profiles. We have the soft lock, we have the IBR, we have the IDT, and we have the Euro tiles that we introduced a couple of months ago. Right. So currently I can see some quarrels behind you. Yes. Can you talk us through as we walk and explain what we are looking at? Alright. So these ones are called fat quarrels. They are called what? Fat quarrels. Fat quarrels. -A -R -T. We split them to the width we want right. before passing them to our roof format. Okay. So these ones are quarrels that have been, they are on the waiting list for production. Right. We're just waiting for the forklift to carry them on to the splitter, then we are gone. So these are the various colors that are available? Yes, there are more. We have about seven or eight of them. Yeah, so anyone the client wants from our showroom, we have the four at the storage yard. So we just go pick them and bring them back. But these ones are the ones that others have selected ready for production. Okay, yeah. so let's take a look at the machinery right. or the actual operation right. to see how it looks like. So right. let's walk down and have a look. Right. So currently, okay. what, what is happening over here? Yes, what you see here is called the decoiler. So this is called the, the decoiler. decoiler. Right. Yes, so, so the part four that we saw at the other end, right. this is what it is placed on called the decoiler. It decoils the coil. Yes. And it goes through our row format to give you the shape that we have. You will see the finished product at the other end. And we have our controls that inputs the various lengths and the quantities we want. And this is the finished product we see here. So this is the actual coil the actual, yeah. which is molded and this is how this it how looks. It comes out. Yes. It comes out. So the rulers take them to the other end. So the rollers carries them to the other end. So that the production guys can carry it to the storage area. Wonderful. So if someone wants to place an order, how long does it usually take for the order to be processed? Right. We pride ourselves in quick and fast delivery. That's our nature, our hallmark. Right. So when you place the order, it takes a maximum of four days. Right. If the weather is clear and we are not interrupted with rain. By maximum four days, your seat should be ready and we call you deliver to the site uh, the to start to work on the view. Okay, another thing that I would like to find out, or most people would like to know is that, do you work nationwide? So if somebody is in Tamale, somebody is in Kumasi, uh, do you have other branches where they can pick up your roof issue? How does it work? Yes, uh, currently we have other branch offices all around the country. And places that we don't have, we normally send our estimators to take the measurement. The only thing is you give us a call that you will need our product. Then we also arrange someone from here to run over. But in Takrade, we have a sales outlet there. And in Afghania, we do have Kumasi, we, we also have. So the various points that we can assess the other regions quickly, we do have sales outlets there. So anytime we are called, we just discuss someone over there to do so a quick measurement. What we really need is just the measurement. Then we will do the calculation for the point of this. And we let you know the price. Any day you make the payment, we start counting from that day to the fourth or fifth day that we supply your materials. Okay, so let's walk on. Right. And then whilst we are walking, 
I like us to talk at the same time. Right. So you you talked about an estimate. Yes. Can you provide an estimate based on architectural drawings of the roofing plan? Yes. Uh, that is even the most simplest form. Yes. It gives you a provisional idea about how much you are going to spend on your roof. So what we only need is the roof plan and sometimes the elevations and a me a measurement on the drawing. That one we can project the, the provisional cost that we share in, in roofing that house. At the end of the day, there's going to be a class of minus depending on what your carpenters really put on the Okay, brilliant. Thank you. That, that's very good because quite a lot of people may not be in Ghana yes. and they want to get an idea or somebody may be in Ghana yeah. uh, they haven't finished yet but they want to they want, they want to plan ahead so please let's walk on because the noise from yes. this end um, now what machinery are we looking at over here yes uh, this one is called the traffic machine this is the trusses machine yes. uh, specifically from frame car right yeah so this is also a decoiler just like the other ones who have the coilers on the roof format. Right. So this one because the well and sends it into the roof format in the air conditioning room at the other side. So yeah. this pro this produces the steel truss. Is this the steel or aluminium? Yes, this the uh, steel trusses. Right. I spotted there is it's allusing. It's allusing. It's good. So it's, it's got some sort of anti-rust anti coat on it. Yeah. Okay, can we have a look in? Is that possible? Yes, it's possible. Right. So if if we can go around. So this is the machinery yes. which molds the trusses. Yes, trusses. Yes, wow. Let me just capture it yeah. okay. just to show how it looks like. You see a lot of rollers and punches and stuff in there. I wanted us to have a look at the actual the receiving point. Molding. Yeah. So this is the receiving point. Yeah. So these are the trusses. Yeah, the light steel trusses. Okay. So these are these are being packaged for delivery. Exactly. So when the client is in a hurry, right. they do it this way and get to the site and do the assembly. Right. Like on a normal production day, we do the assembly ourselves. You see every gable shape and all the other shapes that you see in the room. We do all and then transport them to the site for them. Okay. So, so that's what we are doing. So each one has a number to show where each one will be. The web and the braces and all. Top cord, bottom cord. So they are numbered as well. Everything is numbered to begin the assembly process. Right. Now, wh when you mentioned about transportation, yes, is that an additional cost, or do you deliver for free? Uh, by our estimates, we we group them into three. Right. We have a subtotal for materials, right. a subtotal for transport, right. and a subtotal for installation or workmanship, depending on how you call it. Right. Because in the event that the client has his own transport, then that cost. Oh, it's taken out. It's taken out. Then you only pay for material and our installation. Right. But we also insist on redoing the installation so that we cover the lifetime support that we are talking about in terms of leakages and stuff. But when you do it yourself, we assume we only get you the material. Okay. How you install it with your own problem. Okay. So th this is something that is very important very because important. if if you install it for the client, then you can take on the responsibility. On the but if the client does the installation themselves then you have nothing to do with yes. any problems that may come at all. Yes. Okay. Now, can you tell us a bit more about the warranty or what sort of guarantee do you provide to cover any sort of leakage or damage? What's the number of years? How does it work? All right. Uh, for leakages and stuff, we have a lifetime support for the roof. Right. So that anytime you have an issue, you just give the hotline a call right. and we arrange for the installers to come over and diagnose the issue. Data, we solve it for you. It's just 24 hours. We have a complaint center fully operational that handles that one. For warranty, there are warranties on the various uh, profiles and the materials we have. 
for color bond per se, you go as long as 25 years. For normal aluse, we have five years, we have three years for some of them, depending on the one you are selecting. And no matter what, we still have a lifetime support for whatever you do there. We say as long as your building stands, the roof will also sustain whatever things you want to do inside the building there. Okay. That, that's great to know. Yes. Now, the other thing is that I wanted to ask, what what causes some of the fading? Because occasionally you notice that some roofing uh, sheets or some roofing are very faded. When you're driving around, you can see some roofing sheets which are in a very poor state. Uh, all the color is literally faded off. What is the cause of some of these problems? Because some people would like to know why these things are care. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's a business we are running and everybody wants profit. Right. So in uh, in the market, you have the various materials and they are thicknesses. You right. also have the various coating masses, the color coating mass and the type of paint that is being applied on it. Right. So Arida per se, we normally take the ones that have been oven baked. Right. So we use the right paints that has been baked with the material. So right. we don't see that fading. But in the market, you have the post-painted ones. You only go and buy the material, the steel, and the paint is themselves. Those ones, after some years, you have to go back there and paint. The color just goes off like that. So right. it's a business empire that is running, and they are trying to make profit. So there are inferior materials in there. They don't really look at the coating mass, but we look at the coating mass. How, how does somebody know the quality or durability of a roofing sheet? Because if, if I walk in here and I say I, I want a roofing sheet, uh, how do I know that the quality that you're offering is of a higher grade and is much durable than elsewhere? Right. Uh, to the layman, trying to determine the quality is quite difficult. Right. Unless you look at the other jobs that they have done in town and recommendations from other clients. Right. So to the layman, you might look at five or six buildings in town that are still in the right shape. Right. That so that he knows that he's coming to the right company. So you should know the company that you are buying from and the credibility they have in, over the years in supplying quality material. Apart from that, unless the person is an architect or a contractor who really wants to check thicknesses and stuff, we have veneer calipers that check the gauges and we have the Ghana Standards Authority that also does te test on quality. So if he wants to really assess it, he does that. But we, the layman who work about ready to move, you just you should just know the company you are buying from. Then that's it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, and obviously you have different the different grades right. of the roofing sheets. Yeah. So um, can you talk us through again the various thickness right. and uh, how they work? All right. In Ghana, we we have a thickness as low as 0 0.3. Right. And 0 0.3, 0 0.35, 0 0.4, 0 0.45. 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 are special thicknesses that the clients have. Those ones are not always readily available. So those are pre-ordered? Pre-ordered. So we have to give you some time to order it and bring it back. For the normal residential buildings and stuff, the highest there is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay. So what grade do you produce? What, what Between what grade do you offer? Yes. We, we offer between 0 0.45 and 0 0.5. 0 0.45 and 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Yes. Okay. Those ones, anytime you are coming for an estimate, you should be ready to have two estimates for my radar. You have 0.45 and 0.5. 0.45 is lower. The higher you go, the higher the price. price. So unless the one who is doing the installation knows about other lower thickness, that one when he asks for it, we give him. Right. But in our system, we start from 0.45 and 0.5. Okay. okay, so and great. Right, wonderful. So now let's walk and then have a look at some of the roofing sheets and the trusses right. which, are, which have been worked on. Yeah. So these are the trusses. These and are the trusses what are we looking at over here? These ones are the pellings. So these are the pellings. Yes, these ones are the ones on which the roofing sheets will be screwed to. Right. Uh, we have six meter length. Right. So these are the perlins. These are the perlins, and that's the machine that produces it. And this machine produces yes. perlins. And what are these other ones as well? Uh, these ones are the roofing seat accessories. Okay. Uh, so we have eave trims, rain gutters, side trims, and all. Those ones who have their machines. So you provide rain gutters as well? We do everything. We have the plastic one as well. We have the metal one too. Right. The metal one comes with the color that you select for the main. 
but the plastic one is not white. It's pure and white. It matches with any other type of color you want for the roof. I think we saw some of the rain gutters in your showroom. Yes. So from here, we'll, we'll go, go down to the showroom and then have a look at them. Yeah. So I'm just still going to... A lot of accessories. The rich cups. So these are the rich cups. Yes. These are the side trails along on the face here, along the slope. They are beautiful uh, for aesthetic purposes and the wind rain. These are the rain gutters. Yeah. So these are the rain gutters yes. in the different colors. Yeah. So, so we've got, the we've got the gray, green, green will match with the rain brown. gutters. So. These are the rain gutters. Oh, this one is the splitting line. Uh, the core comes in this form, very wide, 1.2 meters wide. Right. So we put it on the decoiler and it goes through the splitting line. Then it, it folds, it turns into a core, the part cores that we showed earlier in our coverage. So this is where we get them from. So one coil alone can have three uh, slides in them so that we can use for producing self-lock. This one is purely for self-lock. This is purely for self-lock, self -lock, yes. So this is the splitting line the machine. Splitting line, yes. Right. That's the decoiler. And this one just roll it into the coils that we have on the ground. Mm -hmm. The water is just for cooling. Okay, so there's water in here. Yes, for cooling. For cooling yeah. the, the plates. Yeah. Right. So another thing is that I've noticed that you've got quite a lot of uh additional raw materials yeah. on the compound here yeah so what what, what is these covered items are they more roofing materials yeah these ones are the coils the raw materials that we normally decoil right. so all these are covered this ones to show you that we have a lot of materials to cover any quantum of order you want to place these ones are from blue scope color bond right we have a lot in stock and in our other our warehouse too you can see the same thing at the other size on the storage ground. Even our place is not big for us. We are thinking of getting a bigger warehouse. Right. And these ones are also some finished products we have ready for transportation to client sites. Right, wonderful. So it's just good for uh, everyone to know that there's enough material whenever they place their order. So you can actually deliver within the four to five days that you've mentioned. So currently we are in the showroom where we're going to take a close-up look of the various roofing systems that are available. So just this over here, I can see that you've, you can see the rain gutter that you mentioned earlier on. The plastic one. So these are the plastic ones. Yeah. So drop out pipes and all the accessories. So uh, how do you usually cost? The, is it per square meter or how does it work? Yes, ours is per length. The length. So we normally go up the, on the finished woodwork or trusses mm -hmm. we take the measurements per length. We have unit prices for every length. Right. So at the end of the day, we collect all and give you your cost. Right. So we pay up and we do the production. So, so if somebody has got their roofing done already, yes. but they need rain gutter as well, you can supply them both the aluminium rain gutter or these plastic ones, which, still, uh, still in my we opinion... The building perimeter and we know the quantity you need and the various accessories you need to close it out and you pay up and bring to your site for you to store. Great. So now let's look at what we what else we have here. What we have here is called the Euro tile. The Euro tile. Yes, it's a modification of the clay tiles we had those days. You know these ACB tiles came some time ago and the rich men were on it, but yeah. it was quite heavy. Yeah. Down there, there, you have mold forming on it because it's just raw clay that yeah. has been treated. Right. But these ones are lighter. It still gives you that clay tile feeling right. and appearance that was in those days. Right. It's just also the metal still with stone coated. Okay. okay. Uh, Is it possible to take one for us to look at how it looks yes. like? Yeah. So that's it. You have lid at the back, metal still. Okay. And the top is just stone coated chips. So, yeah. so this close-up look. Yeah. So this is how 
wide and how long it is. So we hook them to the, the palings on them. But these ones have closer paling spaces, All right. unlike the long span where we can go just three feet. But this one you have to go very close. Right. Uh, so right. And these are the different colors. That we have. So let me start from the floor, the brown. So this chestnut brown. Chestnut brown. We have terracotta. Terracotta. We have graphite black. This is the graphite black. There's a brick red there. And we also have a brick red in the roofing sheets. Okay. So we have jasper here too. And the last one is the ceiling. So any of these colors that the color selects, we do the production for them. Right. Now, let's just pan the camera along. So now we're over here where we're looking at the different types. So these these are the long span yeah, roofy sheets, yes, the ones sheets that we saw on the production the store. On the production floor. Okay, so let's start from here. So we've got. This uh, one is blue scope, right. it's manor red. Okay. So the thicknesses are also written alongside them, so you know what you are buying. Okay. It's a blue scope color one, and this is woodland gray. Alright. It's also a blue scope color one, this is ivory green, mostly for warehouses and others. Right. There's a jasper, a cottage green. Right. There's a headland. We have a deep ocean color next. Then wilderness, also from blue scope. The last one that is blocked, also from blue school. So these ones are the enhanced aluminium I thought about are the production of floor. It has so, thematic properties. So on the top we've got all, all these, these colors. Yeah. So the bottom ones, these are the... Yeah, they have also coffee brown. So these are the 0 0.45? Yeah, 0.45. I said somebody will also so want to point four because he knows what he wants. So this is headland, yes. loft, loft. mano red, it's a deep ocean, deep ocean. cottage yes. green, woodland gray, yes. wine red. And the last one is the coffee brown. The coffee brown. Yes. And then if I go to the bottom here, yes. I can see the truss that the you mentioned yes. about. This so this this one that is actually ready. assembled yes. and ready. So this this a display one to show you yes. how it looks like. Right. So okay. you have the top cord, the bottom cord, and the web brazings. So depending on your building span, it goes it becomes bigger. And this is just a sample to right. show you how. To okay. So just this. Uh, another thing is that uh, I wanted to ask your opinion or your advice on secret roofing. Because we've noticed that a lot of the townhouse designs that are currently springing up, most of them are going for the secret roofing. So what, what would you recommend or what is the steps to be taken for somebody considering secret roofing for their property? What do you have to say? First of all, the secret roof doesn't have much coverage. Right. Because we don't have so many accessories coming in. So it's quite a lot of cost. Right. But one thing is just the limit. It also comes from why the connection to the sheets and the walls and most of the people try to do the roofing sheets inside the perimeter walls, the parapets. Right. And so normally we advise our clients to have a perimeter cutter in there so that the secret roof, the roof itself is isolated. Right. But when it's not isolated and it's attached to the wall, then we have to look at how to put our flashes. Right. Most people just fix it on the plastered wall like that and there are always gaps around it. When we come in, we alert the client to have his missus chisel the part where the flashes are going to end. If it goes inside before the missus do the flashes, it becomes watertight. All right. Yes. So, so after chiseling, you you put something in the wall. Yes, we put our flashes. We have L shaped flashes right. that covers the roofing sheet, and the rest goes onto the wall. So when we nail it and we plaster, means that there's no longer a gap between the roofing sheets. The and the wall itself, yeah. right. Okay, so the water drains directly from the roofing sheet next to the wall and then straight down. And once it hits the wall, it drains along our flash and onto the sheets and goes off. Okay. So like if it is not there at all, then it means that when it hits the wall, it will go through any space. You know what I can find this way around anything at all. So any small gap between the sheets and the adjoining wall, 
Yeah. Brilliant. That's that's very helpful. Now, one thing that is most important is regards to payments. Yeah. We haven't talked about it. So, uh, what is the payment structure? How does it normally work after you've given the estimate? Uh, what is the payment structure? All right. Because of our credibility over the years, right. uh, people come and they pay outright. Right. They just sit in their houses and wait for the roofing sheets to come. Right. But those who are in doubt because of what other companies have done to them, right. our structure here is we pay 70%, right. we do the production, right. then we call you to let you know that the sheets are ready. Right. Then you bring the 30%, we deliver to you on that same day or the next day. Right. But there are less no payments, that one will be a contract between our management and the clients. And the client. So he will pay some percentage and we spread the rest for him for some time. But we we'll look at your tra credit trustworthiness. <laughs> <laughs> if you are not credit worthy, yeah. I'm not sure we will look at that. So, uh, last, in terms of communication as well, yeah. I guess you are available on WhatsApp directly. Yeah. So, because there are a number of people who may want to speak to you directly, some may be overseas with any sort of further questions that they may have. Um, and that shouldn't be a problem, I'm guessing. So, at this point, we'd like to thank you for the opportunity and for taking us around, telling us about the various services and also the detailed information that you've offered. Uh, thank you very much. Pleasure uh, Guys, uh, I think we've seen the various roofing sheets and all the products that are available. So if you have any questions, do reach out and we'll put you in touch with Justice and your company. Uh, if you enjoy this video, kindly do subscribe to the channel and click the like button and share the information with your friends and family. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.